We are on the go with Joe, and today he is lighting up the track at Portland International Raceway. Joe isn't driving a race car. He's checking out the annual Winter Wonderland light display. He has a look at this holiday tradition. Hi everybody, we are driving our way through Portland International Raceway. I'm joined by Kyle Camberg with the Sunshine Division from the uh, Portland Police Bureau. Uh, it is the 27th annual Winter Wonderland and Kyle, this is how folks experience it. Well, maybe not quite like this in the back of a pickup quite, no. truck, uh, but you drive your way through what, two miles of uh, beautiful miles, lights yeah. here, right? Tell us what people, if they've never seen this uh, incredible tradition, what it's like, what you see it and experience here. Well, they're living it right now with yeah. us vicariously, <laughs> but uh, yes, it's two miles and there are a number of different sections throughout the track. And uh, as I always like to say, it is comfortably 70 degrees inside of your car. Yes. Not so much right now, but we've right. got everything from the, you know, Santa Claus coming in for uh, a landing here to the, we'll be up at the 12 days of Christmas. A couple of the big favorites are the big light tunnels that people will go through out here. I call them sort of the Instagram tunnels. People are always taking the selfies in there. And Over a million lights going on 27 years, but you guys have really kind of like updated it and, and improved it uh, throughout the years, right? Correct. So this is year five of Sunshine Division having the event, and we've invested quite a bit into, number one, making it all LED, as you can see. I believe there's like one or two things out here that are not LED, yeah. and we'll see if we can figure out where they are or not, but it looks so much better because LEDs, as we all know, way brighter. Yeah. We've added a lot to it, and so it's it's upgrading the show. It's making sure the old classics look really good. So we're always going to have 12 days of Christmas. We're yeah. always going to have that. That looks great, but really, like, these are these are new in the last uh, year or so right here. So this is uh, just adding a lot to it because, you know, two miles of track is a lot, and you want people to feel like they got a good value, and, it, and that's what it is. It's a great fa family value. You can go to your local Safeway and get a ticket for $18. I don't know what you can pile six people into an SUV <laughs> yeah. and do for under 20 bucks these days, but I you can, can do this. I can tell you, having a, a family of four, nothing, nothing yes, exactly. is what you can do outside of this. Okay, so uh, it's underway right now at uh, the uh, Portland uh, International National Raceway. It's every night through January the 4th. Correct. And that includes Christmas Eve and Christmas. And for Years. people that aren't aware, benefits the great work of the Sunshine Division. Tell us again about that, Kyle. Yeah, so this is year 97. Actually, this Saturday, the, the tradition that started Sunshine Division back in the 1920s uh, was police officers and this new thing called police reserves delivering food in Goose Hollow on Christmas Eve. We still do that almost 100 years later. This this weekend, about 3,800 holiday meals are going to go out. Um, most of those are home delivered by volunteers. About 500 people from four locations take those out on Saturday. So it's an amazing tradition, but that, that's just one day. We're, we're here year round. This funds what we do. Incredible work. We'll have more information about the uh, Winter Wonderland here at kptv.com. Kyle, thank you very thank much. You. Do appreciate it. Uh, that'll wrap it up for now from PIR. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Oh, it's always such a neat event, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's cold out there. It looks like good day South Dakota. It <laughs> is cold. Yeah.